All right, guys, I'm back uh, with the review of Doctor Who, The Return of Doctor Phantasmo. Uh, Billy started watching it a little bit, right? Yeah. What did you think of what you saw, Billy? I really liked it. Uh, <laughs> working still. Um, I really like how they showed the kid rescuing him superpowers and all that stuff. And he sw the way the kid got the superpowers was swallowing dwarf star material, yeah. which I don't think they've done in comics with any other superhero. The dwarf star? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Adam. Like Ray Palmer. His suit's made out of dwarf well, star. Well, yeah, but no one's actually swallowed it. Oh, no, no, he swallowed it. That'd probably <laughs> kill him. Yeah. <laughs> they, they've had people exposed to gamma radiation, yeah. radioactive spiders and everything, but no one's ever actually ingested dwarf star material. So. Okay. <laughs> no, he's just dwarf. Yeah. It, 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 tastes, it tastes like Lucky Charms. <laughs> um, it's not your regular Doctor Who Christmas special. No. It, it starts out on Christmas, but the majority of the episode doesn't really... It kind of looked like a cheap Superman knockoff almost. Yeah, kind of a cross between Superman and Batman, really. Yeah, it was really uh, The weird. superhero is known as the Ghost. Um, you get to see the Doctor... Travels through time, checks up on him periodically. Uh, originally, uh, I don't want to give too much away, really, but they originally believed that the kid is going to pass the Dwarf Star material, like crap it out. Yeah. But he it ends up merging with his molecular structure, so he he gets the powers and he has them forever and. He has the hots for this Lois Lane type girl that uh, they were, they went to school together. He was just madly in love with her. She ended up marrying his best friend. He becomes the manny, the ma nanny for their baby. And uh, they do end up falling for each yeah. other at the, excuse me, at the end. But like I said, it wasn't really a Christmas special. Yeah, it just started off on Christmas. Yeah. And they should have saved it for like maybe some other time of the year yeah. as just a regular. Maybe a regular episode. Yeah, a two-parter episode maybe. Yeah, but it, was, it definitely was not your standard Doctor Who Christmas. Special. Yeah, it was. It was different. Yeah, they did have the Doctor did have Matt Smith type lines. If you remember when <laughs> Matt Smith first became the Doctor, and the planet was being invaded by these aliens, and he's oh, trying what to. What time was that? <laughs> yeah. When when he first becomes the doctor and he's trying on these different clothes to determine what type of clothes is his new style, you know, and he ends up on the roof and he says to the aliens, you know, that uh you don't want to mess with Earth because all these other alien races have tried and they've all failed and he finally ends up putting on the bow tie and he's because like I'm the doctor, you know, this planet is protected. Well, we saw that the new doctor, Peter Capaldi, had a, a similar line like that. So yeah, it would have made a really good two-part episode. It just wasn't that great was of it a... Two hour long uh, I believe it was two hours. Yeah, it was a two-hour episode. Wow. Um, it just didn't make that great of a Christmas episode that we're yeah. used to from the doctor. Like the falling... Yeah. The falling hand monster things with Santa Claus being the hero. Yeah. And this is the precursor to the Doctor's new companion. As we all know, the uh, Doctor's former companion, the, the Impossible Girl. What was her name? I forget. Claire. Claire. Yeah. She died, but not really. She's kind of in between the last second of her life and you know, the first second of her death. Um, so she's kind of trapped in time right now, and she's going on her own adventure. Did they give a date on when Doctor Who's going to return? I believe it's in January. Yeah, less. So next week, less. so I have to get my next month. Yeah. Awesome. I think two, I really week, need to catch two, up. two or three weeks in. So I got the second half of last season to catch up on. And then I got, uh, well, that was nine, right? I think. What? Is the season 10 coming up now? No, it's going to season 11. Oh. But yeah. I really wish if the actress who played, played Claire, if they wouldn't have given her put her on another show for the BBC. They really could, they left it open to where she could have her own Doctor Who spinoff like Torchwood. That was an awesome show. Yeah. Um, Both friends worked her back. 
supposed to bring a torch for back. Really? Yeah. Really? It shows the doctor. The doctor is currently mourning over the death of River Song. Because it, it was kind of fun. It confused me too because of the whole time travel thing. But I guess this point in time was he knew that this was the point in time where she actually died. So it, it, it is very confusing. Overall, it was a good Doctor Who episode. Um, just not a good Christmas episode. That's the review of Doctor Who, The Return of Doctor Phantasmo. And for those of you who don't know, Doctor Phantasmo was actually the name, The Doctor. That's the name the kid gave the doctor. He, the doctor asked him what his superhero name would be at the very beginning, and the kid said, I would probably call you Dr. Phantasmo. Yeah, so. he's, he's asking about, like, Spider-Man. He's like, he got bit by a radioactive spider. He's like, well, I'd expect him to die from radiation poisoning. Yeah. And there was this really... <laughs> he, he went through this whole long list of what would happen. And there was this, this really cool scene at the beginning where yeah. doctor, the doctor is flipping through the comic, a yeah. Superman comic, oh, and he's like, great. I just figured this out. Look! Clark Kent is Superman. Look, I, I drew glasses. I drew glasses on Superman. They are the same person. The kid's like, everybody, everybody knows that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have a chance, watch it's Doctor so Who, close. The Return of Do Dr. Phantasmo. Oh, Peter Capaldi. Yeah, Peter Capaldi is my new favorite doctor. Then my second favorite doctor would be Matt Smith, followed by David Tennant. Yeah. Take care, guys. We'll be back. Me, John... Billy and Dylan back there are going to be playing Bean Boozled, doing the YouTube Bean Boozled Challenge. Stay tuned.